YouTube. Uh, today I want to talk about a guitar technique. Now something that I've learned over a few years of playing guitar. Especially reading magazines like Guitar Player, Guitar World, a lot of those types of magazines. And uh, it's, uh, it's concerning pick harmonics. Using a pick to create harmonics on the guitar. Now a couple of well-known people that use harmonics are Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Also know Zach Wilde that is, uh, pinches harmonics like that on the fly and uh, on command and it's a really interesting sound. So it's something that I like to incorporate into my playing and I've tried to learn how to do it. And uh, the way that I know how to do it now is I uh, use basically there's two, two particular elements that you have to uh, take into consideration. The first one is the type of pick you use and the second one is your, the position in which your hand is placed over the strings to be able to pinch that note to be able to make it to make it squeak and to make it the, the harmonic. So I'm just going to show you up close what the picks I use and then I'm going to show you a little bit how I place my hand and how I get into it uh, to be able to push into the string and create a harmonic. And after that you'll see a little demonstration of uh, a little solo, guitar solo over a jam and it's going to have basically most most of the solos be, is going to be made out of uh, harmonics. So uh, have fun and uh, see you around. Now the first thing to generate pinch or pick harmonics is to have the right pick. Now I use hard picks. Now Billy Gibbons used to, I've read that he used uh, I think it was pesos that were sharpened up as a pick and like stainless steel picks, very hard picks. Now the ones that I use are these. Now they're Dunlop Jazz 3's. This is a Max Grip Dunlop Jazz 3 and the black ones. Now the red ones and the black ones are not the same. There's a little particular, they're particular in their own way and I prefer the black ones. They seem to be stiffer. So this is the first thing is the pick that you use. So that's the first thing you have to consider something, a pick that's hard that will really dig into the string and you'll have a lot of control. It doesn't, slap, doesn't snap back a lot. So that's the first thing. The second thing you have to get taken into consideration is how you use the pick. Now, I had read that Neil Schoen from Journey, when he used to pick the guitar, he picks at an angle. So that helps a lot because you don't pick flat like this. You pick at an angle, maybe about a 45 degree angle. That's the first thing. Another thing you have to consider is you have to have the flesh of your thumb on the side of the pick, which on the side of the string, so when you snap on the pick, the thumb will come immediately into contact with the string. So what it does is it's going to hit the, the thumb is going to touch the string while it's vibrating and it'll create a harmonic. Now there are different harmonics harmonics that can be created in this region. So I'm going to give you just a small demonstration up close of how you can how you pick into the string and where you pick it in this region where the picking hand is to get different types of harmonics. Thank uh you. -huh. 